It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Hey boos, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, we are going to be dyeing my hair. I wanna go platinum blonde slash white. Like, I want a really, really light, light hair color. I was super excited because I love dyeing my hair, but I've never done this color. And I've always wanted to do a blonde, but I was like, I don't know. I know it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. I know it's gonna look good. Period. Okay. So yeah. So since um this is my first time going blonde, I watched a bunch of tutorials already. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna be doing the two-day process. I watched a few videos and since I want to go this light, I have to bleach my hair two times at least, okay? Actually, I don't want to bleach it more than two times because I barely have hair to begin with, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna bleach it today and then tomorrow another bleach, but let's just focus on today. Enough talking. I think I'm talking because I'm trying to like avoid it, but no, we have to go. Let's go. So I'm going to be using the Arctic Fox Beach Beach. <laughs> Bleach, please. It's their complete hair lightening kit. Um, since I don't have a lot of hair, like I could use this twice, like just this whole thing twice. So I was like, it comes with um what is this six ounces of 30 volume developer this cute bottle look at this cute bottle in the pink i'm sorry if it you guys can't really see it right now it's a little out of focus okay i'm having a little focus issue but it says bleach please on it <laughs> 35 volume developer six ounces cruelty free okay um, and then it has the cream bleach this is three ounces three ounces and six ounces because you're supposed to do one to two ratio so boom. quick math okay and I love that they give you gloves I already have gloves on deck but they give you gloves in this pack and of course the directions I already read it I already know what to do so and I also already use this so I don't really need the directions but it is very informative okay I'll tell you that like it has everything for you guys um, it talks about the roots and everything I, my hair is just you know it's short I don't have to worry about roots I just plop it on and that's the roots <laughs> All right, so things you'll need. You'll need, obviously, I just told you guys, bleach, some type of bleach, cream bleach, powder bleach, and a developer for the bleach. Um, this is 35. I don't recommend doing more than 40, because I heard that's really, like, really damaging with the flyer here. So, um, yeah, 20, 30, 35, 40. I think that's good, okay? You're gonna need some gloves, okay? So yeah, gloves aren't sold out anymore, so you can go ahead and get some gloves. Amazon, anywhere, okay? You're gonna need some processing caps or shower cap. I just picked up a bunch from Amazon. It's a uh, 100 pack, okay? I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be bleaching and coloring my hair. Not as well, right? So I have a bunch right here ready to go you're going to need a mixing bowl and a brush i recommend a brush like this um you could also use your hands to apply it but if you have longer hair a brush would be better you can also pick these up at a beauty supply store amazon like it's easy to buy and they're not expensive also, you're going to need some type of petroleum jelly something or coconut oil, some type of moisturizer to just put around the like perimeter of your head so you don't stain your skin. 
and a scale. I'm using a scale to do the one to two ratio of the bleach and developer. Um, make sure you're wearing a shirt you don't care about because bleach can just drop right on it. Um, make sure you're also wearing pants you don't really care about because again, bleach drop right on it. So I'm sorry if it it just my camera just zoomed in and out, guys. Um, my manual focus was not cooperating. So I just really want you guys to see everything clearly. So I just put it on autofocus. It's it's gonna zoom in and out because of all my movement. Please disregard that. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. But here we go. Okay. Bleach, please. I'm gonna start with that. All right. So my scale is on. You know what? Before you even get, I'm sorry. Before we even get into the bleach, put on the gloves. <laughs> Let's put on the gloves because what if the bleach that like, just squirts all over my hands? Feel me? So let me get the gloves, and these are good gloves too. It's not the like weird plastic ones that you get from like the CVS like box hair dyes. You guys know what I'm talking about. Like these are some good gloves. Thank you Arctic Fox. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gloves are on. We're safe. Our manicure is safe. Okay. One ounce. I don't know. No, not one ounce. Whatever, I'll just stop at some number. <laughs> Point something. Okay, I'm gonna do that much. So point, hold on. Cause I need some for the second bleach I'm gonna do. So point three, let's just make it point four. Let's just make it even. Went four two, okay. This thing is, I'm just gonna say it was point three, point three nine, whatever. Point three nine. Okay, so point seven eight, point seven eight of developer. Point seven eight. Okay, that's good. And now I'm gonna mix it. They say mix until there's no more lumps. So let's do that. But this is what it's looking like. Okay, but I definitely, yeah. So I'm just gonna do, ooh! Here comes the smell. <laughs> it didn't hit me before, but here it is. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do a little more. All right, once we go, we can't go back, okay? Once it's on, it's on. <laughs> we can't go back. Let me get my small mirror and I'm gonna have to do the back like this. Or just go to my bathroom. Oh, just kidding. Wow, before we do that, <laughs> We need that petroleum jelly. Should I do the zigzag? Uh, I'm gonna leave it. Um, I wanna do this quick cause you don't wanna leave the bleach in the bowl for too long cause it'll, it'll go bad. Once we go, it's happening, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening. No turning back. <laughs> you guys, I feel like I feel so at peace. Like I feel like I'm home right now. Like I love dyeing my hair. Like it just feels so good. It feels amazing right now. It feels so good. I'm gonna try not to get any here, but 
If it happens, it happens. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's on the floor, right? <laughs> I'm just trying to go fast a little bit because I want it to be even. I don't want the colors to process at different, like different parts of my head to process at different times. Like the front right now is already like probably doing its thing. And I just don't want it to be patchy. So you just have to put it all over your head. All over your head, avoid your ears, avoid like the Vaseline, the petroleum jelly you put there. Avoid all of that. If you have a design like me, um, I'm trying to avoid it, but as you can see, it's a little hard. Okay. Going towards the back now. I think I need more bleach. <laughs> I knew it. I don't know what the foot I've got, but I think I need more. It's already lightening up. Oh my God, I see it, I see it. The design. <laughs> you know what, forget it. <laughs> the design's gonna be covered. Okay, guys, I'm gonna quickly make another batch. But it's, it's covered, I just wanna be safe. So I'm not gonna measure it, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna put this batch with my hands because I really wanna like smooth everything down and get everything. All right, the bleach. Make sure those edges are covered. Now I'm not rubbing it in my scalp, I'm just like flattening it and making sure everything is even, evenly distributed. I'm gonna leave this on for, I feel like it's already been like five minutes already with this on. So I'm gonna leave it on for 40 minutes. Um, I'll, come back and check in with you guys like 20 minutes in and then I'll see what it looks like at the 40 minute mark if I feel like it could be a little lighter I'll leave it on for like five more minutes and then we'll go from there okay oh something else I forgot to mention I washed my hair um two days ago yeah I washed it before I got this haircut um it also says that on the instructions, they, rec they recommend you wash your hair like on like two day old hair, like not freshly washed hair, so you don't irritate your scalp as much. And then I'm gonna put on my one of many processing caps. It's been almost 20 minutes, we're at 21 minutes now well 21 more minutes left um i'm gonna take this off just to see what's going on it does burn a little bit but it's not like severe i know i said use gloves but this is just gonna be real quick Thing is looking good. Let me check out the back and then I'm gonna put another cap on for the remaining time. Everything is covered, guys. Like, I'm really proud of myself. Everything looks good. Okay. Put on another cap. There is 19 more minutes on the clock. I'm gonna come back 
and check in with you guys when that time is up and we'll see where we're at um, for 20 minutes it's already pretty light like i'm surprised um but yeah i'll be right back <laughs> There's actually nine more minutes left, but I thought I would just come and let you guys know about the shampoo I'm going to be using. That's very, very important when you're trying to go this light. There's going to be, like right now, it's very, very yellow. And I don't want that. Okay. So I got this a while ago from Amazon. It is the Carantine Purple and Blue Shampoo. Uh, I've never had a blue shampoo, but it says it removes yellow and orange brassy tone. That's what we have, okay? So, I feel like the blue is just an extra, you know, extra color to balance out, you know, to remove those yellow and brassy tones. So, I think it's going to be good. I don't know. We'll see. This is what it looks like. It's cute and the color is like super dark like i don't know if you can see it yeah oh that is not what i wanted to do <laughs> it smells good <laughs> all right i have five minutes left um i think this is good i'm not gonna do an extra five minutes because it is burning it's not like like agony but it is burning and i do want to get this off my scalp so we'll just stick with the 40 minutes this is looking like ramen noodles <laughs> since there's only five more minutes left i'm gonna just go to the bathroom right now um get ready take out my contacts everything i'm gonna rinse this out i'm gonna use this shampoo do i use this once or twice i'm gonna use this once yeah, I'm gonna use it once. I'm gonna leave it in my head. I'm gonna shower while it's, you know, on there so it can really take out any yellow tones and orange brassiness. Let's go rinse. <laughs> Cause it's burning a little bit. It's starting to burn. It's starting to tickle. It's starting to tingle a little bit. So, this is what I am looking like after the shampoo. After I rinse out the bleach and I did one shampoo, I left it in for about like mm, five minutes, seven minutes. Rinse it out. No conditioner because this is the first day process. I'll do conditioner tomorrow. Um, so now this color is pretty cute. Like I could rock this color, okay? I don't want to keep this color, but if you want to leave it after this after your um, first bleach go ahead and rock this blonde but I want like that white blonde um, so I'm gonna wait though because my scalp does feel pretty tight especially in the back get some handy dandy coconut oil okay um make sure to get the cold pressed right the cold pressed one because I don't know why, but it, there's a difference. There's some coconut oil that's for your hair and your skin, and there's some that's like just for cooking. I don't know. I heard coconut oil cold press is good for you, better for the hair and skin. So like that. I did research. That's what it said. I don't know if it's true. Google. <laughs> I trust Google. But yeah, I'm just gonna massage some coconut oil all over my hair and scalp. Um, I was gonna do a hair mask. I'm gonna show you guys it in a second. I got this Shea Moisture hair mask just last minute. I was gonna make my own, but I was like, uh, let me just grab this quick little mask. Oh, this feels so good. I'm gonna just have this oil in my head for the rest of the night and tomorrow um i want to do this strengthen and restore treatment mask with shea butter peppermint apple cider vinegar so that is part one day one 
of the bleaching process. Day two. Okay guys, it's the next day. Okay, it is currently, what time is that? I think it's 10. Yeah, it's like 10, 15, 10, 30 a.m. Um, I waited about, what was that, 12 hours? <laughs> you know what, I can't wait anymore. <laughs> um, I already got the bleach ready to go. Just putting on my gloves. I already put on my, my Vaseline perimeter. Okay. Um, my shirt is back on. I'm ready. I'm a little nervous because this is my first time doing like a second bleach on my head. I'm a little scared. I don't think my hair's gonna fall out, but I just I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna do 30 minutes to start just to see what's going on. Feel me? I'm gonna be checking my hair in between and everything. Um, but yeah, here's the concoction. <sighs> okay, come on. Plastic cap ready. And I'm gonna actually start from the back this time because I realized the back, um, sorry, there's like mirrors here, like beside me. Because I have this huge mirror and it opens and there's mirrors on the side. So I can actually see the back of my head. Um, and yeah, it's a little, it's darker than the front. So I'm going to start in the back first, this time, and then work my way up. Okay, so here's what we're looking like. I'm actually really glad I did this second one in the bathroom because of all the mirrors. I could see exactly where to put the color because the first time, well, the bleach. The first time, the first bleach, I like got it all over the back of my neck. Um, and I'm scared that I got burned. <laughs> but I don't think I did. Then it's just irritated right now. But yeah, I was like really careful this time not to get it on my skin and I put Vaseline like all over the perimeter of my head so I have a timer set I have a timer set for 25 minutes right now I'm gonna put on my cap um and I'm just gonna keep on checking it cuz I'm scared <laughs> keep on checking it to see what's going on and to make sure I still got my Hair, the little hair I have. <laughs> Make sure I still got that on my head. So, after this, I'm going to do the shampoo again, the blue and purple shampoo again. And I'll show you guys the finished result. <laughs> I'm a little scared, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. But I, I have faith that this is gonna turn out to be good, so. So this is my hair a day after the second dye. Um, I'm not mad at this, okay? It's not white. It's not completely white, but it's not as yellow as it was before. After the second process and the purple and blue shampoo, my hair was still like a tiny bit yellow, but not like, whoa, like, just a little bit yellow and then today I feel like it's starting to like slowly fade a little bit I might use the blue and purple shampoo again just to get just to like really get rid of the yellow I mean it's not bad I'm still rocking it okay like I still like this but I'm just want to see if like this will get rid of even more yellow um but as you can see the, the sides are like pretty white like can show you the back too. Yeah. For the second process, I remember how I started at 25 minutes. Um, so I actually did a whole um, 40 minutes in total for the second process. So first process was 40, second process was 40. Um, well, first process was 45, second was 40. What is that math? I'm actually going to do this. Um, mask as I was gonna do right now because my head still feels 
tight and dry and it's actually like itching a little bit so I really need to like treat my scalp so much I've been using my coconut oil to moisturize but now I need like a mask to just sit on my head for a bit doing this um, some things I would do differently is definitely um, doing the mask after the first process and actually waiting a full 24 hours, maybe even 48 hours, okay? Because my hair was really, like my scalp was like really, really tight and like I was really, really scared I was gonna get burned. I don't think I did, but in the future, I'm definitely gonna be patient. I just wanted, to, I just wanted this to be done because I have a trip, like I just want this to be done. So it's like I don't have patience to be waiting 24 hours. Um, luckily I didn't get burned. But for the future, I'm definitely gonna wait a little bit. Mm, yeah, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one.